Who has the question? I think it's... Oh, you. Thank you. Sarah, all right. Yeah. So the economy will be a big focus for voters in 2024, as it normally is. And under President Biden, inflation is down. Wage growth and the GDP are up. Um, the Dow is nearing an all-time high. But it's doing much, uh, it's not doing much to lessen people's anxieties about pocketbook issues like lowering food prices, college tuitions, paying off debt. So <laughs> what is he doing to address this disconnect? Well, first of all, thank you for listing out all of our amazing accomplishments or what the president has done to make sure that the economy gets back and on its feet. Is down also, and I gas noticed, yeah. by a dollar and seventy-seven cents since its peak. Remember, yeah. Putin's war yeah. caused yeah, yeah. gas prices mm -hmm. to go up, and uh, this is his war against Ukraine. And so, look, it's a very good question. This is one of the reasons I'm here with all of you, right? Having the conversation. We, I appreciate the opportunity to do so. When the president got into the White House, we all know that the economy was at a tailspin, right? We had we had COVID was just going through this country and the world in a way that was just unfathomable, obviously. And the president came in and had to fix that because obviously the last administration did not have a comprehensive plan. And so we had to come in and do that. And the actions that he took, to your point, really took effect on, on the economy in a good way. 14 million jobs were created. Unemployment is at a historic low. We have wages are up. And so we got to continue to talk about it. And we're going to continue to do so. If you look at where we are currently right now, we're heading into the holiday seasons. I know I've watched you guys. You guys do these segments on, on the holiday season. And we just finished with Thanksgiving. Low, the, the, the prices have gone down, went down on turkey, went down yeah. on eggs, yeah. you know, went down on goods that Americans truly need, gas prices, as you just mentioned, because of the work that this president has done. One of the things that I want to tout right now is, you know, for, the, for decades, elected officials have talked about beating big pharma, right? Going after being able to lower the cost for, of prescription drugs. This is a president that has been able to get that done, lowering cost yeah. for the American people, whether it's insulin at 35% or now Medicare being able to negotiate with big pharma to lower a cost. And so those are the things that we have been able to do because of the leadership of this president. We're going to continue to talk about it. And it is important. It's not just in 24, but it is right now. And so Americans are, are, are it takes a little bit of time. Economic experts have said this to feel everything um, and uh, and so it's going to take a little bit of time but we have to continue to talk about it and we will yeah. you know could you just mention to him about reclassifying the state of marijuana please oh <laughs> Get right on time. Have that our, well, personal I, let me tell you because a lot, right because a lot of view. people use it for not getting high is, is medication for a lot of I mean, people. The federal and we are trying to, I would like to see a declassification of that because we've been, it's a big deal for those of us who don't use big pharma. Those of us who use different kinds of things to, to deal with some of the pain or whatever we're going through. And it's, this president's been really good, a little slower than I'd like him to be, but he's been good about it. So I, I just wanted to throw that in because everybody got their questions. So that's my <laughs> Thank thanks. You, you know, you're always welcome at this I, table. I'm always it's happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me.